morning. Good morning to you. How are you today? We've got some breaking news this morning. Other than the fact that you're wearing trousers. I am wearing, I'm wearing, thank you. Yes, I'm wearing trousers. Is this the first time ever? I think it is, apart from when we wore um, Christmas jumpers that time, and I think I might have worn a jean at oh, that you? point. Yeah. But the first but time today, on this morning, yeah. your trousers. You don't know what to do with your hands. I do don't. You? All my legs, I keep doing this. I might do that a lot today. Uh, so the breaking news, yes, it is Bond. Uh, Sam Smith will be singing the new Bond theme song. How exciting. So he uh, teased the news by tweeting uh, a picture showing a ring with the new, with a Spectre logo uh, on it. And uh, I've, uh, have we got that picture? Yeah, it should be there somewhere. We'll show you that in just a second. And it, he was very, very excited about this. Apparently, they started recording in the studio in January. So he has sat on this little piece of secret information all the way up to September, which in this day and age, I think is pretty impressive because most things tend to get leaked or sort of people go, oh, yeah, I knew about that. Mm. Worst kept secret in music. This one, not so. The, um, the movie's out on the 26th of uh, October. And uh, he, as you said, he recorded that track in January and said, this is one of the highlights of my career. It's the quickest mm. I've ever written a song. It took 20 minutes and they loved it. Well, with thinking surely that's got number one written all over it or has it do you know how many of the bond songs actually made it to number one because we were discussing this this morning neither of us have a well, clue just saying that this is probably the theme of pub quizzes up and down the country <laughs> and neither of us have a single clue maybe you're screaming at your tv going of course we know that everyone did they all knows get that. to number one did Paul, none of them get to number one paul mccartney live and let die Obviously, epic. Live and live Did that get to number one? I would say surely it well, had to. What we've agreed backstage is that we'll be told in our ears what number it actually got to. So I don't that... think that got to number one. Uh, I'm saying yes, it did. Oh, OK. Number nine. Number nine. So not even number two. Wow. No. Wow. Oh, OK. What okay. about uh, Shirley Bassey's Goldfinger? Goldfinger. That was a great track. I just, I mean, I'm I, for me, yes. for me, I'm going to say no. I don't think that got to number one either. Are you saying no because you think it is really yes? But you're saying no because you think that that's... No, because I'm saving my yes for the next one. <laughs> well, I'm saying yes. OK, you're saying... What was it? 21? What was number one when that was 21? Roy Orbison was number one. Oh, that is a good song. I'm only repeating what's being said, by the way. <laughs> you think, how does that he get all this song, stuff? That is a good song. OK, and the final one we're going to do... I think, I think this one... Uh, Adele no. Skyfall. Surely, and that's, I, I don't know, but I'm saving my yes for that. Well, I said yes all the way through, and I'm going to keep Well, if Skyfall didn't get to number one, how's Sam Smith going to do? Did this get to number one? <gasps> number two? No, so have any of them? Have any of them. It was beaten by who? Swedish House Mafia. Oh, Swedish House Mafia, who, um, of course it was. Who got to number, has any of them got to number one? Does anybody know? It's never happened to Sam Smith could change that. No bomb theme has I ever got to number that. one. Well, there you go. Things she didn't know about. There you go. There we are. That's Good a thought this morning. way to start. Um, very busy show today. Here's what else is coming up. We're starting on um, a serious note. The two British jihadi fighters wiped out by an RAF drone strike in Syria. It's the first time British forces have deliberately targeted UK citizens, but was it justified? And should the Prime Minister have got approval from Parliament? That debate is next. And America is bracing itself for the first ever female Viagra pill to go on stage, at, on sale even. It's billed as the biggest breakthrough in women's sexual health since the pill, but could it give you the boost in the bedroom and is it even safe to take? Well, Dr Dawn and sex expert Tracy Cox give their verdict at 10.45. Leslie Ash is also with us. She's here at 11 to front our investigation into cosmetic surgery nightmares, a subject she knows only too well. Instead of people seeing me as Leslie Ash, the actress, they saw me as Leslie Ash, the person that had made a terrible mistake with lip injections. I didn't look into it. I should have done my homework and I paid the price. Also coming up at midday, a newlywed Spice Girl, Jerry Horner, is here. We'll be getting the lowdown on the big day and finding out what's next for her. But the story dominating all.